September 1952, NATO initiates Operation Mainbrace, the first cooperative multilateral maneuvers since the war. The FDR was part of a NATO fleet exercise off Denmark called Operation Mainbrace. The FDR and the RAF and British aircraft carriers were witnesses to one of the most incredible multiple USO sightings in history. The Ministry of Defense in the UK actually wrote it up as a USO sighting. The exercise involves 200 ships, 1,000 planes, and over 80,000 men from its member nations in the waters near Denmark. As one of the largest and most advanced ships of the time, the USS FDR leads the way. She was part of a task force that was sealing off the Russian submarine access through the North Sea into the Atlantic. Extremely important because what if there were, had been a USO base underneath the North Sea in that area north of Europe? We were surveilling them, they were surveilling us. September 13, 1952. The Danish destroyer Willemos is in the Baltic Sea north of Bornham Island. Lieutenant Commander Schmidt Jensen and several crew members reportedly see a luminous triangular shaped object moving at high speeds above the water in close proximity to the main fleet. The bluish object travels westward and suddenly turns southeast directly toward the FDR. Over the next week, there are several more sightings stretching from Denmark back to the Air Operations Command bases in Scotland. September 20th, 1952, 7.30 p.m. Three Danish officers reportedly observe a shiny disc-shaped object rise from the water and pass over them, again headed toward the NATO fleet and the FDR. The fast-moving metallic UFO heads east and disappears into the cloud layer. September 21st, 1952, less than 24 hours later, six British pilots above the North Sea spot a shiny spherical object rising from the water and stealthily approach the fleet's location. They reportedly give chase, but the swift-moving object evades their pursuit. FDR veteran Jordan says that he spoke to a witness over 40 years ago. They had a sonar contact from three or four destroyers and they couldn't figure out what the hell it was because it was moving with them and the damn thing was like a quarter mile wide a quarter mile wide and it came up out of the water and when it and it dinged one of the ships and that was later reported as a collision between two destroyers and he says that's not what happened because he went up and he said this damn thing came up out of the water and flew up according to reports all of these sightings share a similar eerie trait the witnesses uniformly feel that these USO objects whatever they might be are actually observing the naval exercises at close range after Operation Mainbrace, there were so many sailors who saw the objects and airmen from the RAF that saw the objects. This wasn't just one or two people. These were crew members on the USS FDR. So this is one of those very famous multiple sightings where everybody saw these objects. One journalist aboard the USS FDR during the operations had perhaps the very best view of this reported swarm of USO activity through his camera lens. September 20th, 1952, 11 a.m. Several crewmen witnessed yet another fast maneuvering spherical USO rise from the water to the sky just behind the fleet. Journalist Wallace Litwin on board the FDR documenting the operation points his 35 millimeter cannon camera at the horizon and quickly snaps two images of a fast moving disc that seemingly defies all laws of gravity. The images were believed to have been studied by the Navy, but no official report was ever filed. Wallace Litwin uh, took photos of the flying diff going over the USS FDR in Operation Main Brace. So I got copies of his photographs there. It shows the object going over the ship, uh, and, and you see it's the ship's superstructure and part of a, a wing of an airplane. Just like a bright light going over a ship with the forward. So, but they said it was like a dislike to some of the, the witnesses. USO sightings aboard the USS FDR during Operation Mainbrace were not exclusive to enlisted men and non-coms. 
Some believe that General Dwight Eisenhower may have even witnessed similar objects as a guest aboard the FDR.